and uh, welcome back to uh, 8-Bit Theater here. I'm 8-Bit, 8-Bit, and uh, you're listening to Melville's Rock Station, The Buzz, here on www.thebuzzrocks.ca. Today we are playing, looks like Mario Tennis. We got a new layout today on our uh, on the show. A lot more uh, cool stuff in the below here. We have our sponsors, and all that other crap like that. Anyway, welcome back to your uh, buzzrocks.ca. Uh, today's uh, episode is sponsored by Procreep Landscaping. Also, right below here. Yep. And uh, SAS News Network, SASNews.net. But we're gonna get this uh, show on the road here. Play a little tennis here. I uh, can't spend too much time with you because my shift ends in about half an hour here, so it'll be probably the last game of the day. Let's see here. What do we got here? Let's just play a quick exhibition game. Oh, I must have hit my wrong button. There it is. Okay. We're going to play a singles game. I haven't played this game on the Game Boy Color before, so this will be probably one of the first thing times we uh, get to see me play on this one. Anyway, only two buttons on it. How hard could it be? Normal bounce. Ball speed, normal bounce, strong. Ball speed, slow and weak. Uh, let's just go with the hardcore. To the right. Oh, what did he do? He just kind of froze. Up. I must have missed it. Okay. Straight down the pipe. Yeah. Maybe Mario's fast. They go a lot faster than uh, Donkey Kong. Oh. Keep that in mind. Speed is probably a better uh, thing than that. Oh. I was hoping that he'd have like a bunch of bases, maybe. Oh, finally! Nails one by him. Good. Didn't get shut out. Didn't get shut out. Probably gonna be coming like at least a weekly thing here now on the, the buzzrocks.ca. Uh, we'll be coming to you from all four stations: uh, Melbourne, Mooseman, Cinnaboya, and uh, Maple Creek. And uh, this is a new show called 8 Bit Theater, where we just play games. We talk to you. We talk about the news. We talk about the weather. How about those forest fires in BC? I heard the whole uh, province is under lockdown right now. Well, not lockdown, but it's under a state of emergency. Safe and okay over there. I got a lot of friends that live over there right now. Hope every one of them are doing just fine. Oh, this Donkey Kong character sucks. Oh, actually, it's probably more me. Well, that went a lot quicker than I thought. So we're gonna play one more game. I'm just gonna pick a different player. Mixed it up a bit. There's a few different ones we can always go with. Big eight. Move on. Let's 
you gotta love the Game Boy Color games. Like, this actually one is not too bad. I find it actually, considering, like, my experience with a lot of Game Boy Color games is they're, a lot of them aren't very animated, or, like, at least the old Game Boy wasn't, but, like, these ones, they start to, you actually start to see the little details they pop in. I actually kind of noticed that a lot, even on the newer Pokemon, well, not the newer ones, but anything after red, yellow, and blue is basically new to me. Nice. Finally, I got a lead here. Luigi, can you win? Attack that ball. Boom. The back. Oh, yes! Come on, come on! Oh! How come Donkey Kong didn't move that fast when I used it? is much better. See, I should have did that when I played as Donkey Kong. I needed to crowd up on the net a little bit. Because he's got arms. Like, his arms are all over the place. Like, he's going to be able to get just... Oh, come on! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Ah! Uh, dive! Yeah, see, when I... Yes. When I played as Donkey Kong, he didn't dive like that. Oh, hit the net! Ugh, okay, well, let's keep going here. Get the middle, get the middle. Bam! Nail it! Nail it! Oh, wow, this monkey can play. He's got arms, he's just all over the place. Uh oh. I hit pause for some reason. Quick, here. Oh, and that's gonna probably mess me up. Oh, and I returned it. I, uh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> nice. So well, hockey season's starting up real quick too. I usually spend my winters uh, as a general manager, assistant coach of the junior hockey team over in Bradbury. I gotta love those guys. It's uh, probably one of the funnest things I do in the winter time other than all this job right here. Oh, finally got one on there. What time do you see it right now? Let's find out your height is. Let's play one more game. I got a little more time. Let's do one more here. Yeah. The singles. I'm gonna play as Baby Mario. I'm gonna try it over three. I think, where's Mario? Okay. Well, and I'm gonna play against this one of these other ones. Let's play against Brian. He's an all-around good player, I guess. But we're gonna play on a composite course. Let's see how this one goes. Ooh, it's green. Luigi had arm length, but this guy's got speed. Donkey Kong could really hammer it if he wanted it to, but I think that's just with the character. He's sure. Wow, this is a... Oh, no! Ah, that was a great rally, though. Summer. Let me know down in the comments. It was actually a part of a, uh, a nature show filming uh, called Saskatchewan Travelers where we went around all over the uh, province of uh, Saskatchewan uh, filming different videos. Uh, 
uh, about different places, trails, uh, tourism spots, just cool little things throughout the province. You know, so that was for Saskatchewan News Network, sasknews.net. Not uh, premiered this summer. Uh, I went up just after we finished a lot of it. We'll be go over throughout the whole. Uh, over the winter, you'll see more and more episodes. That'll be every week. Also going to be on uh, online doing play-by-play uh, -play football this year locally. It'll be uh, southwest.net as well. It'll be Friday night football on SNN. And then as well, I'll be doing play. What happened? You hit me with the ball and I start crying. I guess I am baby here. Anyway, yeah, we're also doing play-by-play -play for the Sunday. I like going to all the different rinks and uh, seeing what they have for media booths and stuff like that. That's probably one of my favorite parts of the job. I uh, actually this uh, this April I got to uh, do all the play-by-play -play at the uh, Allen Cup in uh, Rosedown to see the AAA uh, national championships. That was kind of a highlight for me. I, I just started doing play-by-play -play, like, a couple years ago doing baseball locally. really got interested in it, so like that now, well, I got asked to do the uh, uh, Allen Cup next year, I might actually be doing it again up by Red Deer, but uh, I'll just hold my breath on that one. They, they told me a little bit closer to it, but I haven't heard anything back from anybody there. Uh, I lost that one to, to Brian. Okay, well, anyway, that was a great 8-bit uh, theater. This is, I'm 8-bit, 8-bit. Uh, you're listening to Melville's Rock Station, The Buzz, www.thebuzzrocks.ca. Uh, hope to get back to you on another show here. That was a good game of uh, Mario, Mario Tennis on the Game Boy Color. Thank you and have a great night. And welcome to 8-Bit Theater today on Melville's Rock Station, the Buzz, www.thebuzzrocks.ca. On... I'm, I'm your host, sorry, Max Stevens. It's early this morning. I've been up uh, late last night trying to get a lot of everything else figured out for the rest of these things. If you've noticed, we uh, have, uh, I guess it's down here. Yeah, right here. The, uh, well, and even around me, we are, uh, my new frame here, I got a... A TV and some uh, crates and stuff for everything on here. You can see what we're playing now. Our sponsors right down below. Today's show is sponsored by Pearl Creek uh, Landscaping and as well as uh, BestBudsSociety.net and SassNews.net. But anyway, Paperboy came out in 1986. It's been on like three different uh, formats or platforms, I guess you could say. Uh, being PC, being on a uh, arcade. Uh, yeah, arcade bar like stand up and on NES as well. So, and I'm pretty sure it's also been on uh, Sega. I could probably find it on a few other consoles. It just uh, it was tough to find online. Now it's been removed from a lot of different places at the moment. So it was actually I'm surprised I was able to find this version. But anyway, we're just kind of roll through the intro here, and we're gonna get on it here. Right on. Okay, so we're gonna actually just start on an easy one because I haven't played this game in years, and we're going to give this a shot. So I think it's the black ones aren't my subscriptions, and the blue ones are my subscriptions. Either way, I think if it's, if I'm wrong, I'm definitely going to be missing some stuff, but... Ah, don't get my car! 
How the hell did I not get hit by a car there? I have no idea. Superpowers. Speed by those guys look like they're up to no good. Oh, just about got smacked. Don't fall in the grate. Hey, there's a dude breaking in the house. Let's hit him with a newspaper. Oh, put one through the window. Oh, now I'm gonna chase by their dog. Whatever that was. Uh, ah, fist fight, random. This neighborhood is awesome, by the way. <laughs> Training grounds. Nice, okay. Uh, usually I remember when I was a kid, I didn't really get past to this area too much. I was not very good at the game at all. But I've noticed, ah, yeah, it's still pretty bad. Never mind. Okay, well, does that mean I move on? I, I, I haven't actually played this game in decades, so. Did I get everybody? Whoa, that's a lot of canceled subscriptions. All right. Mm, you know what? It was probably the people I put one through their window. Dollar fifty paper, two hundred dollar window. Prob oh, that guy gonna be mad. And I hit a fire hydrant. Okay, I think the trick is not to watch where you actually have thrown to make sure it hits. It's probably just to make sure you don't drive into anything. Oh, who puts their sign there? I'm pretty sure that's not the. Oh, schmack! It's like a smack and a schmuck and a smash all in one. Oh, let's try the... Whoa, self-driving lawnmower. Ah. Dude, you have possessed lawnmower. Call an exorcist. Granted, if it's willing to do housework for free, I don't think it's worth getting rid of... Keep keep that spirit in, in the house. If it... If, oh. Well, looks like I lost. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that was Paperboy. Um... I think we're going to try one more round. I'm going to try and uh, see if I can at least get on this high score. Of... <sighs> Looks like I have to do better than 5,000. Anyway, let's do one more round of this, and then we'll probably move on to a new game. Glad you guys came along for the ride today. This has been great. Um, I was actually excited to find this one. It took me a long time to find this, uh, this game. I'm not going to tell you where I found it. But uh, I might put a link in the description here if you guys are looking for it. Because I, uh, I noticed uh, someone who uh, rhymes with Schmin Mendo has uh, taken down a lot of games and a lot of ROMs and different emulators and stuff lately. I think it might be due to like the release of the... Oh, these guys are going to cancel their subscription. I nailed two windows in a row. Oh, nice! Got her in! I think I'm supposed to aim for the mailboxes if I can. Not their kid break dancing in the middle of the the yard. You don't see that too. Like, I mean, I wonder what this neighborhood's actually like, because, I mean, a lot of people just... Oh, yeah, let's just throw two down the alley. Stop sign? No, I don't want brakes. How can't that go over a curb? This, is the worst. this kid is the worst at driving bikes. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna probably play one more shot at this. Part of me wants to go and see what it's like in the in the middle. Maybe it's just a little easier. Sometimes it is. Sometimes your reaction time is better for other stuff. I'm not sure why I looked behind me. I thought I. Right on the doorstep. So it's just a pile of money just laying on the sidewalk. Dude, this neighborhood is awesome. Must be just rich people leaving money just laying around. Yeah, 215. You gotta work on that signage. I'm 
What? <sighs> okay, well, let's go here one more time. Don't get hit by a car. Don't get hit by a car. Uh, I'm not sure what that is usually, what, I, what I'm dodging on, but I just, like, got a rule in this game. Just don't hit it. Ah! What's that guy do? A uh, jackhammering. Who buried somebody in their front lawn? I, I want to know that. Is that legal? That can't be up to code. I mean, I really don't care if it's legal or not. It's just like, do you want dead bodies in your uh, front yard? We're gonna go this way this time. Oh, I totally didn't think that was water. I guess, yeah, 8-bit blue, that has to be water. One day I'm gonna make it through that course. <laughs> Yeah, remember, uh, boys and girls, uh, remember to check out our sponsors uh, down below here, the buzzrocks.ca. There's four rock stations across Melville, uh, across southern Saskatchewan, Melville, Moose Min, the Cinnaboya, Maple Creek, hard rock, classic rock, punk rock, you name it, they've got it. If it rocks, they play it. Uh, also, I've got sas.news.net. Watch local sports, local news, local weather, lo live hockey games, football games, highlights, stuff like that. Pro Creep Landscaping, you need somebody to take care of your garden, you need somebody to take care of your yard, fountains, fish tanks, anything. If it grows, they can mow it, they can trim it, anything, doesn't matter. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, bestbudsociety.net, uh, it's a medical marijuana dispensary consultant. Uh, out of somewhere, out of Saskatoon. Uh, check them out, uh, bestbudsociety.net. Anyway, thanks for coming along with the ride. It was uh, great playing some Paperboy today. Uh, this was on the Game Boy Color. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description, probably where you can find it. If I don't, put it. Uh, mention that in the comments and remind me, because sometimes I forget. So uh, anyway, uh, you're watching 8-Bit Theater. Uh, I'm uh, Max Stevens, and uh, this is on the buzzrocks.ca. Uh, so have a good day.
we need to note that uh, a pardon, which is what is being provided under this uh, law, uh, is, a, is a very effective remedy. It is cheaper and faster for the uh, parole board to administer. Uh, it bears no extra waiting time. Uh, normally it would be five years. That's gone. Um, it bears no fee. Uh, it would normally be $631. That's gone. Um, the individual's record will be sealed and, uh, and segregated. Uh, and that record can only uh, uh, be examined again in extraordinary circumstances, like, for example, if some other offense is committed in the future. Uh, the, uh, the record would, could, could, under those circumstances, become uh, accessible, but uh, those are very extraordinary. It's also important to note that the effect of a pardon is fully recognized and protected under the Canadian Human Rights Act. Uh, which means it cannot be the the, uh, the criminal record cannot be used as any form of discrimination. 